Tom Thomas has been having trouble with Wallaby One. He's brought Wallaby One to Mike Blood and his workshop to see if he could fix it. Righty o says Mike, I'll see if I've got my tools. So Mike goes into his workshop to see which tools he has to help Tom Thomas. Meanwhile, Tom Thomas starts her up. She seems to be misfiring. So Mike tinkers away, banging here, banging there, to see what he can do. He needs one last tool to fix Wallaby One. So he goes back to his workshop to find it. And without warning, Wallaby One bursts into flames. Mike Flood is in shock. Firstly, that he had a narrow escape. And secondly, why on earth would Wallaby One go up in flames? Tom Thomas makes sure that Mike Flood is okay. Then he rings Fireman Sam immediately. And here comes Fireman Sam to the rescue. He makes sure everybody is a-okay and then he uses the super sofa. The flames start to disappear. Good job, says Tom Thomas and Mike Flood. We don't know what we'd do without you, Fireman Sam. Well, the thing is, Tom Thomas, you should always get the right professional for the job. And Mike, as good as he is, is a handyman. He's not a mechanic. You need to get a mechanic to fix Wallaby One. Right all. But no harm has been done and everybody is safe and well. That's the main thing. Take care then guys, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Hotty Pandy's Welsh Dragon has been causing havoc recently. He's been setting fire to things all over the village and now he's heading up to the scrublands where there's lots of dry grass. This could be trouble. The dragon breathed out with one fiery breath and settled the grass alight. Oh no! And then he flew off. He wasn't going to hang around. Here come Fireman Sam and Elvis in Jupiter now. Fireman Sam and Elvis have been following the Welsh dragon all day putting fires out all over the place but this looks like it could be a huge fire so they unroll the hoses and get to work come on Elvis says fireman Sam let's get busy with these hoses but oh no they've run out of water Jupiter is empty they've used all the water and all the other fires I know says fireman Sam I've got a fire beater and also we have a shovel. We can use some earth on the flames. So Fireman Sam beat the flames and Elvis threw earth all over the flames and it started to work. The flames started to die down. Wow, good show chaps! Come on Elvis, last little bit. And then the flames were out. Well done chaps, that was an excellent way to put the flames out. But they both felt really exhausted. I think it's time to go back to the station for a nice cup of tea and a sticky bun, says Fireman Sam. Righty ho, says Elvis, let's be on our way. Here we go then guys, 
Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Ask your favourite adult to help you with this. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Tap on one of these boxes to continue the firefighting fun. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. And let's see what's in Fireman Sam's lunchbox today. Oh wow, it's Jupiter! And here we have Fireman Sam himself. Let's check out some of the sounds. on his way. And what do we have next? Oh wow! It's a police vehicle. so cool guys and let's see what we have next it's another police vehicle Super cool. Okay, let's take another look. It's another police vehicle, and this is a monster truck type. Oh, wow! awesome is that? And let's take another look. And it's a fourth police vehicle. I think there's a theme here. That's amazing. And there's one last surprise in Fireman Sam's lunchbox. I wonder what it could be. It's not a police vehicle. It's a surprise egg. Ooh. We've got star candy. We've got a sticker and we've got a leaflet on how to collect them all and what's inside and we've got the toy. It's a yo-yo. Hey guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So it's a very exciting day here in the MG Tracy Club. We have not just one unboxing today, but we have two. We have double unboxing day. 
And our first very special vehicle is Venus. And it's not just one vehicle, but it's two vehicles in one. It's a playset. Uh, this particular vehicle has sirens and sound effects and also phrases. And uh, we'll just take a look at the back. So here's Venus, here's the water carrier. And this is the second part, this is the control centre. So Fireman Sam can take messages and find out where emergencies are from this area here. And also here it shows that there are other accessories including an axe, a shovel and a broom. And here it shows the pump in action. It actually works guys! So let's take it out of the box and take a closer look. So here we have the hose that's pump action and this is the water carrier section so this can be filled up with water to work the hose. And here inside we have the accessories. including my favourite, the brew. <laughs> it's a lot of fun and uh, we can just slide that in there so it can be kept on the side. And here's the control area. I have a fireman sand that's going to go up and investigate. Looks good to me, thanks fireman Sam. And also the side of Venus comes down here and let's see what happens when I press the horn. Great stuff. And here comes Fireman Sam now. And he's with Station Officer Steel. That's our Venus two-in-one vehicle playset. Let's check out our Fireman Sam Remote Control Turbo Jupiter. So then guys, let's take a look at the box first. And here's our radio control Turbo Jupiter here and our controller just here. And a great picture of Fireman Sam. So let's take it out of the box. Oh wow! So here's our Jupiter. Lovely bright shiny red colour. And uh, here's the ladder. And here's the fire extinguisher at the back. And it's made of rubber, it's very wobbly. And there's Penny up in the front cab. You can see Penny, Elvis and also Fireman Sam and his driving. And at the back of the box, this is very cool guys because it gives you a little play scene. You can see um, Norman Price's mum, Dillis Price's shop there and also Bella Lasagna's restaurant. And it's a great picture of a road in Ponty Pandy. And here comes Jupiter now.
All units code 4109 Avenue 53. Copy that. We're on the way.
Ladder Company 4, fire on Main Street. Unit 3, Ron. <laughs> Ladder Company 4, fire on Main Street. He's taking his whole family for a ride in the country. They were in Ponty Pandy and Daddy Pig was taking Pepper to see Fireman Sam. He also had Mummy Pig and Little George in the car. Here they come now, they're nearly at the fire station. were met outside the fire station by Station Officer Steel, Elvis Cridlington and Fireman Sam. OK Pepper, I've got a fun day planned for you, said Fireman Sam, but firstly, you need to look the part. You need to dress like a firefighter. Pepper Pig just couldn't wait and as if by magic, she transformed into a firefighter. Peppa Pig reporting for duty, said Peppa Pig to Fireman Sam. Good show, said Fireman Sam. Let's get you into the station and let's see what we have for you to do. OK, Fireman Sam. And with that, they all waved the Peppa Pig family off on their travels. Inside the fire station, Station Officer Steele wanted Peppa Pig to hear the master alarm. So Peppa, brace yourself, this is going to be loud. Oh, I don't know about this, said Peppa. It'll be okay. It was very loud and it was very scary. I don't know if I like that station officer still. Now there, there, Peppa. Why don't you go upstairs and see Fireman Sam and he'll show you our fireman's pole. <gasps> OK, that sounds exciting. And off she went. Now then, Peppa, this is our firefighter's pole. Let's have a go. First up was Fireman Sam. Whee! I never get tired of that, says Fireman Sam. Come on, Peppa, it's your turn. I feel a bit nervous, says Peppa Pig. Oh, Peppa, you'll be fine. You'll enjoy it. OK, Fireman Sam. Here I come, she says. something else to look forward to. We've got a visitor, a very special visitor with a very special vehicle. <gasps> Fireman Sam, what can that be? Well, come on, we need to go outside and have a look. <gasps> oh, Fireman Sam, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh, let's go outside. Oh, this is so much fun. Outside the fire station, Peppa Pig got such a lovely surprise. This beats jumping in muddy puddles any day, Fireman Sam. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that, says Fireman Sam. And then she couldn't believe her eyes. First of all, she could see Elvis Gridlington with Venus. Then she could see Station Officer Steel with Venus number two, which was bigger than the previous Venus. And lastly, 
she could see Tom Thomas with an even bigger Venus. So then Pepper, we have three different size Venuses, so we will always be ready for any emergency. Oh fine Miss Sam, that's amazing says Pepper Pig. Please subscribe. Well, hello there, residents of Ponty Pandy, said Station Officer Steele. Welcome to the annual show around. This is the time when we get to show you around all the important work that we do here. So if you've got any questions, just ask me. And be careful and remember to wear your safety hats. Well done, folks. Make sure you keep those hats on throughout this tour. First, let's have a look at the safety equipment that we store up these stairs. Follow me. Now, if you follow where my hand is pointing, said Station Officer Steele, you will see that there is fire extinguishers, a bucket, a tool, some other hammers and some cones, all very important parts of fire rescue missions, as you can understand. During the speech, Naughty Norman looked curious and very, very, very naughty. Dillis leaned over and said, Now remember, Norman, there's no touching today. I don't want any of your funny business, OK? Now, commencing the next part of the tour, behind you to your left, you'll see this is where the firefighters store their very important uniforms and their hats. We've also got a picture of our lovely staff there, featuring myself, a fireman Sam, and Elvis, of course. And then to my right, we've got a map here. This shows all the important locations. Let me just show you how Juno launches off and how we signal the master alarm. Follow me. Now, signalling the master arm is very important because this tells all the firefighters that they have to come at once because there's an actual fire to respond to. Let me show you how it works. And this lovely looking jet ski here is called Juno. Juno is used when we need to rescue someone quickly out at sea and it's operated by one single firefighter. You'll see there's one seat there and a steering wheel. Now to release Juno, all we have to do is this. We loosen her up here, like this, and then Juno is actually able just to launch off like this. Now if you'd all like to follow me, I'll show you where the helipad is. Come on folks! Once all of the other people had followed Station Officer Steele to the helipad, Naughty Norman felt very naughty. <laughs> Now I know how to work Juno, maybe I can use Juno. And he hopped straight on. That's the master alarm. It looks like Naughty Norman's been very naughty. You can slow down. Just try and press the brake. Come on, you can do it. Press the brake. Brake! Fireman Sam launched a rubber ring round his neck for his safety. Come on, Norman, jump on board. Now, Norman, I think we're going to have to have another little chat about your safety at sea, aren't we? Yes, yeah, sorry, Fireman Sam. Hmm. They pulled back into the fire station. <laughs> 